Breaking news today as Billy Gonzalez will be hired as the next wide receivers coach at Florida. What's it mean for the Florida Gators and how big of an impact will it have on recruiting? We'll discuss all that and more, so let's dive on in. What's old is new is Billy G is back in Gainesville. After over a dozen interviews, Billy Napier finally has his guy and it's a familiar face to Gator fans. You guys know this, but he was at Florida during the glory years from 2005 to 2009. He spent a couple years at LSU. He worked for Dan Mullen at Mississippi State and then at UF again when Mullen was at UF as the head coach. Billy has always been known as a very solid recruiter. And I'm being told that this is one of the bigger reasons that Napier went with a familiar face for this hire. Working on both Mullen and Meyer's staff, Gonzalez was able to develop some of the most elite wide receivers in the entire country. Development and recruiting will be two of the biggest aspects of Billy Gonzalez's coaching that fans will be most interested in. But here are several takeaways here. If you're watching this for the first time, welcome to the channel. Do me a favor, hit that subscribe button real quick, and then in the comments, tell me your thoughts about the hire of Billy Gonzalez at Wide Receivers Coach. So Billy Napier took this wide receiver hire very, very seriously. He interviewed several candidates for this role, and he wanted to make sure he got it right. We heard multiple reports that several guys were actually brought back for multiple interviews. I also think that this is really interesting because this is not a name that we heard mentioned as one of the guys that, that he had brought in to interview. So I think it kind of really hits home again, the fact that Napier moves in silence. This is very different than a lot of previous UF head coaches where things leaked out. That does not happen in the Napier uh, era. Billy Napier knows how important this hire is, right? He knows the program has had back-to-back -back losing seasons. He knows that they lost to every single rival last year and that hurts but he also knows he has to work hard to turn it around and his confidence lies in gonzalez to be able to do that napier also knows that when gonzalez is at his best he can absolutely be one of the best recruiters in the country and that's what the game is now right jimmy's and joe's billy gonzalez is going to get guys in and that is going to be the focus here. Billy Gonzalez was known as one of the best recruiters on Urban Meyer's staff. He was known as one of the best recruiters on Dan Mullen's staff. He was known as a great recruiter at LSU. Out of all of the things that Billy Gonzalez does right, recruiting is at the very, very top of them. Development is also going to be a major key as well. Florida lost three wide receivers to the NFL in 2020, but the next year, Kadarius Toney wound up being one of the top wide receivers in the nation and a first-round NFL draft pick. Things obviously went sour at the end of Dan Mullen's tenure at Florida, and Florida fans shouldn't let that taint the way that they view this hire. Billy Napier is bringing in a coach with a ton of SEC experience. He knows what it takes to win again at this level. He is a very well-respected name in coaching circles. He is a super sharp recruiter. I'm going to just run down the list of names of some of the guys that he's coached. And guys, this list is so impressive. Guys like Kadarius Toney, Van Jefferson, Freddie Swain, Tyree Cleveland, Odell Beckham Jr., Darvis Landry, Riley Cooper, Percy Harvin, Lewis Murphy, Andre Caldwell, Dallas Baker, and others. The list is huge. And I also want to tell you from a personal standpoint, Billy Gonzalez not only is a great coach, a great recruiter, he's a great person. I, I knew him when he was at UF under Urban Meyer, saw him again when he was under Dan Mullen. I'm telling you, UF is getting the total package with Billy Gonzalez. I rarely get over the moon excited about hires. UF is kind of in a weird position here, losing their wide receivers coach so late in the game and losing somebody that really was probably one of the very best recruiters on Napier's staff. I'm super pumped about this hire. Billy Gonzalez isn't going to skip a beat. He knows Gainesville, right? He's raised his family in Gainesville. He knows the facilities. He knows what the expectations are at Florida. He also knows the, the successes and the pitfalls of two of the last recent coaches for UF. He knows what Urban Meyer did to win national championships at Florida. He also knows whatever Urban Meyer's downfalls were on his way out the door. He knows how Dan Mullen was able to be successful right out of the gate at UF. He also knows some of the behind the scenes reasons things went 
went south. So I think he's a great resource for Billy Napier. He's the veteran in that building, right? He is going to be able to show Napier the ins and outs of that program and give him insight into the previous coaching staffs. And I think that's going to be really, really huge for, for Napier. And I do understand the apprehension from Florida fans here, if there is any. Gonzalez wasn't originally retained on Napier's staff because Billy thought he could get somebody better. And he did pull a great wide receivers coach in Kerry Colbert, who left for the NFL. So obviously other people thought he was great too. But thinking that Napier isn't on top of this hire and won't pull someone who was very good for the Gators is probably a bit nearsighted. I am buying this hire until I have a reason to sell it. Billy was a great recruiter under Urban Meyer, and I believe that he can and will be a great recruiter under Billy Napier and the army that the Gators have in place. This is important. And, you know, as I just mentioned, he wasn't retained the first time around. But think about this, guys. It's not easy to retain anybody from one, one coaching regime to the next, right? You need fresh blood. You need fresh eyes. You don't know where that person's loyalty will lie if they'll lie to the previous coaching staff or, or to you. So it makes sense for Billy to pretty much clean house at the beginning. Now that there has been a year, there's been some time off, I think he could have the ability to really reevaluate all of these coaches with a clean slate. And that's what he did with Gonzalez. And, you know, we all talked about, do we want a, a Dallas Baker or somebody like that? Why would we not want the guy that created Dallas Baker, right? I think that this is a huge hire, and I think it is the absolutely best name that Florida could have gotten at this time of year. I think it's the best person to bring in for a super easy transition. And I think he's going to develop some guys. There's a lot of young wide receiver talent in that room. And I, honestly, I'm pumped to see what Napier does with them and with what Gonzalez does with him. Like this, this is huge. And the other thing about Gonzalez that I don't know that most people know is that he was a large part of the special teams room when Urban Meyer was head coach, right? Urban Meyer was the special teams guru. He was the special teams guy, but Billy Gonzalez did a lot in helping with that. So uh, as, as the wife of a punter and a special teams fan, I'm really excited from that aspect too, because I think Gonzalez can bring a lot of experience and insight into the special teams as well. Make sure that you are subscribed to this channel because we've got a huge huge video coming out tomorrow on the early hits in spring practice from the transfer portal. You guys are really going to want to see this. Also, make sure you go check out our chat with Nick De La Torre on how spring practice is going so far for the Gators. You can do that by clicking right here.